So, we're going to say that a random variable called z is said to have a Bernoulli distribution with parameter p if this random variable z takes on one of two values. So z can be 0 or z can be 1. So we can use this as an indicator variable. 1 in some sense could be success. The success could be getting ahead when you toss a coin. Um, success could equally be getting some kind of dread disease. It's a way of modelling illness, death, anything that falls into the two categories. And the probability that z takes on the value 1 is given by p. Therefore, the probability that z takes on the value 0 must be given by 1 minus p, which we sometimes denote as q. So we can see just by looking at it, this is non-negative. P and Q are both greater than 0. And obviously, P plus 1 minus P sums to 1. So we do have a valid probability mass function here. The expected value of Z, that's defined as the sum from z equals 0 to 1 of z multiplied by the probability mass function of z. It's actually easier to write this out longhand than it is to write the sum. So z can take on the values 0 with probability q, and it can take on the value 1 with probability p. So the expected value of binary random variable with parameter p is p. If we want to work out the expected value of z squared, again we can just write out the sum z squared multiplied by q plus z squared multiplied by p, which gives us P. So if we want the variance of Z, that's going to be given by the expected value of Z squared minus the expected value of Z all squared, which is going to be P minus P squared. And we can do a little bit of tidying, write that in brackets as p 1 minus p, or if we like, we could even write that as pq. One really nice thing to note in passing, the expected value of our indicator variable z is the probability of some event A, where A is that Z takes on the value 1. The event A is the same as the success that is defined the indicator variable. This gives us a very nice link between expectation and probability, and just makes us think a little bit about the connections between the two. So that is the Bernoulli distribution probability mass function. We've checked out that it's a valid probability mass function. We found the expected value of Z and the variance of Z.